Hello everyone, it's Steam127. Uh, we're not actually playing any Epic Battle Fantasy today. Instead, I'm going over a small change in the Let's Play. I've actually contacted the creator of the game, Matt Razak, and he's actually been graceful enough to give me a copy of the game on Steam. So I have the game on Steam. I've been spending the last few days, you know, casually, getting back to where we were in the congregate version, and it's been really fun playing the game over again. I, there's a lot of little changes that I like. The music is actually a lot... It's, it's extremely crisp. It's not compressed or anything. And as you can see, uh, we're just rolling through some footage I clipped as I was going through the game. Mostly cutscenes, because the cutscenes actually have motion to them as my mouse is excitingly uh, uh, pointing out. Not much, is, not much changes gameplay-wise between the Steam version and the Congregate version. In the Steam version, you just happen to have better sound. Uh, the you have full screen capability. You have better graphical dimensions. Nothing, nothing gameplay-wise changes. You get skills are the same. Equipment, equipment is the same. Uh, treasure chests are the same. Everything is the same, so you don't have to worry about. If, if, you don't. I mean. There's no difference between Congregate and Steam besides the fact that you have cutscenes where the people move around and the uh, the game itself just looks and feels crisper. Now I know that none, not a lot of you have bought the actual game and I doubt that many of you play the game, uh, the premium game on Congregate, but it's a good chance, there's a good chance for you to play the game on Steam and there's, us there's, there's actually some sales that come up every now and then that you can grab the chance of getting this game on Steam for pretty low prices. It's actually pretty awesome. Here we have a here's a uh, example of a fight on Steam. The you can just hear the sound effects are a lot more. I have already said they're just crisp. And notice notice the symbol crash on this ending finale. No, notice the symbol. That was the first thing that caught me when I was playing the game. The cymbal crash. That just, that was a clear indicator that there was just better sound going on in this game. It's really fun. As for the graphics, um, they're not that different. It's just that you can have a bigger screen if you have a bigger if you have a bigger screen, you can do a bigger you can have a larger resolution while playing the game, and it still looks just as good. So. Bigger screen, bigger resolution, 1080p, looks great, looks, looks better. Hopefully, this video looks slightly better than the one you'll see on YouTube uh, from the previous episodes and the ones continuing on. At least, I hope so. Also, uh, all the medals in this game are all achievements that you can get on Steam. The game also drops Steam trading cards uh, if you want to collect them all, if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Steam trading cards myself, but it's kind of fun. It's fun. Uh, having trading cards, at least for Epic Battle Fantasy characters. Uh, going back through the game actually is really fun because I know what, was, what I was going, what I had to do in order to beat a certain boss or do certain things. Oh, uh, I actually, there's medals for defeating uh, the powered up versions of each boss, like uh, the Mighty Oak, the robot version we fought in the Battle Mountain. I missed getting a medal for that on, by beating on Epic Difficulty. I did it on the Steam version, and although I can't really show it to you because I've already killed the guy, uh, you're supposed to make him tired. You're supposed to give him the tired status. That, that's what you're supposed to do in his accuracy and his evasion going down every turn. He basically can't hit you, and I abused the crap out of that, and that's how I won. It was actually very difficult getting to that point. Uh... I didn't miss anything else. Uh, I'm actually a little behind on grinding uh, because I just all I did was catch up. I didn't do any grinding themselves. So the equipment and the status and skill upgrades they're gonna be slightly different than before. Also, there's a Minecraft creeper in that shadow over there. A lot of cameos in this game. I'm not gonna point them all out because I'm not savvy, but uh, just know that you can see some. If you see someone, you know, just put put it in the comment section if you do. Anyway, I'm just gonna... There's more video than there is for me to talk about. All you need to know is that the game is now going to be played on Steam. I'm capturing it from the Steam version. It's all about Steam now. So there you go. 
Games on Steam. Matt Rozak, you're great. And here is uh, my. Here's what I wanted to show you guys over here. I didn't have to do this, even, despite the fact that I wanted to show off the music as well. But uh, you can hit this thing. It's possible to hit it, and this is uh, this is what I did. I used lock on and my high accuracy equipments to try and hit the thing, and I did, and I did eventually hit it. Although it didn't do anything to it, I, I did hit it. See that I'm checking my I'm checking my own stats here, because I believe I have a one in twenty chance of hitting this thing if I have uh, my buffs up. Thankfully, I got lucky enough to hit it before it actually ran away, and you can see that I'm actually able to hit it, which is pretty funny. Uh, it makes you think whether or not it's actually possible to hit this thing or not, but you, know, you, never, you never know. See, right there, I hit it. I hit it with plasma. So uh, there, I, I can hit the thing. It doesn't do anything to it. It doesn't kill it, but I can I can hit it. That's all you need to know. That's all I was curious to do. I actually hit it once in my first the first time I ever played the game, and I just wanted to replicate that and do it again. Besides that, uh, the game we're back to where we are. I'm probably gonna play a little bit more, get some probably get more skills than we had before, just so we can cover more. That's actually about it. So I'll let the gameplay play out. You can see how characters animate. You can hear the sound effects on your own. So I'll just see you guys later. This is you and Prison Watching you go brighter tomorrow. Enjoy the last minute of the gameplay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully. Maybe not tomorrow. You know, I probably shouldn't have said that. See you!